I'm so nauseous, I can't hold anything down. So now I'm going back to urgent care and getting prescribed nausea pills. And the nurse literally looked at me and said, these are great for hangovers, and sent me on my way with my nausea pills. Any morning sickness that I might have had was masked by that, I think. The nausea subsides, everything is better now. It's my second semester of senior year of college. I'm just having a good time. April rolls around, I go in for my annual physical. I tell my doctor that I haven't had my period in a few months and she said that's super normal because you have PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I've had it my whole life and having irregular periods is super normal for me. And she also told me I needed to have an internal exam, so she's giving me an internal exam and looking me in my eyes, telling me she's touching my ovaries, but wasn't able to find a baby in there. After my annual checkup, I gained maybe five or 10 pounds, but my PCOS makes my weight fluctuate a lot, so I vary one or two sizes every now and then, which is super normal for me. I saw Kayla while she was pregnant maybe a few times here and there, because we did share the same group of friends, but there was no way I could tell at all that she was pregnant. So my back starts hurting. I ruptured a disc in my back a year before, so my doctor prescribes me muscle relaxers, doesn't give me a pregnancy test, doesn't suspect pregnancy or anything, and sends me on my way to go to a back doctor. The back doctor, she's prescribing me boot camp physical therapy and again, doesn't think I'm pregnant, doesn't give me a pregnancy test. It's hard to comprehend that at this point I've seen five doctors and not one of them thought to give me a pregnancy test. I was contemplating even going to the hospital because my pain was coming and going, but my best friend and my dad said that I should really go because they've never seen me in quite so much pain. I was ready to leave work and throw her in my car and bring her there myself. We finally get to the hospital. We go into the emergency room. The doctor presses on my stomach and they're convinced that I have an ovarian cyst that ruptured and they're gonna need to give me surgery. So the ultrasound tech's giving me the ultrasound. And so I asked her what she saw, but she said, oh, I can't tell you that. Why can't she tell you that? Well, like, I know that they can't tell you, like, legally, because they're not the doctor but why is she being sketchy? So I immediately think I'm dying, and I start texting my friend that I'm dying and she can have all my shoes. I didn't believe her. So a doctor comes up to me and says, you're 30 weeks pregnant and having a baby today. Today, all the color drained from my face. I went from a shift drink and pizza with my friends to active labor. The thought of Kayla pregnant that summer never crossed my mind because of how much partying we were doing. <laughs> the first thing I said to the doctors when they told me I was pregnant, I said, I drank a lot. And they said, well, we won't know until she's born if the alcohol affected it. I just kept saying, oh my God, and I can't have a baby because I don't have a car seat. How could I possibly have a baby? We can't even take it home. I was really scared. And I just kept saying, oh my God, I need to call my mom. I need to call my mom. And I told her and she, thought that I had time to prepare, not that I was having a baby that day. So when she realized that, she proceeded to like freak out a little bit, but then woke up my sister and came in, and she also called my dad for me. So I'm feeling really scared to actually have to birth a baby, but the time comes, and the nurse instructs me to push. I push a few times, and before the doctor even comes in, the baby just flies out and bounces onto the bed. And before you knew it, I had Sawyer, my beautiful baby girl. She was seven pounds and one ounce. I was so happy to find out that she was perfectly healthy and nothing was wrong. She's so perfect. Everyone was super supportive. And my mom, my sister, my aunt, my grandfather, my grandmother, and my dad all made it to the labor and delivery room before I had her. <laughs> 